Hi, I'm Max Pev, and today I'm going to be unboxing this Art Squad doll. If you haven't seen my other video where I unboxed Vanna, Vanna, whatever her name is, um, you can check that out. I unboxed Vanna, who is also part of the Art, Art Squad line. This is Lady T. I love that because I'm pretty sure that's similar to one of the Flavis dolls name. Right? Something like that. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm just thinking of Lady Diva. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I am going to be unboxing this doll, and I actually really like the art class line. First of all, that's a dress. Um, I'm not facing the camera. Oh my gosh, you can kind of see me. Um, I wanted to have a lazy day. I didn't want to get dressed. So <laughs> we're doing it this way where we're just focusing on the doll today. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to be unboxing this doll, and I like the art class line. I feel like it was kind of something that was like debated whether or not people liked it because sorry you can see my hand hello um because some people didn't like their looks but one thing that I've talked about in the past is I love dolls that just look different um I love a lot of the budget not budget line oh my goodness um knockoff lines because um or dolls that are trying to be other dolls. Example, there's the, uh, oh my goodness, Gwen Stefani doll, I think, that looks so similar to the Bratz dolls. I love those dolls. I think they're so pretty. So these dolls I was super excited for, and they have five points for, not five points for articulation. They have, I don't know, seven, nine, ever after high and monster high a points of articulation. At least the other one did, so let's take a look at Lady and see if she has this I want the other two dolls in line because I think the line is canceled like I haven't heard any other dolls coming out which is disappointing because I feel like they had such a fun little introduction to them but I don't know maybe they really just didn't excite people but they excited me because I want the other two so bad and I look to see um, if they're ever on sale anyways so at the bottom it says DIY craft for you and Lady T. Love that. We've got Art Squad um, and then like spray paint. I can't remember which thing she's supposed to be, but on the back it'll tell us. So this is Lady T. You can see the doll and everything that you get here. And then if you turn around, also the little handle is plastic. I don't know if I kept Vanna's, Vanna's. Um, but yeah, so here is on the back, we can see some of the crafting, and then here it says Lady T. Sorry, not sorry. Birthday, February 5th. Favorite color, purple. Personality, fun, edgy, and spunky. Favorite thing to do, volunteering at school. Art style, moral paint. Oh my goodness. Mural painting, can I speak? No. Um, fashion style, a street savvy fix of color and patterns. Favorite art tool stencils and then at the bottom you can kind of see the doll so here is the one that i have and this one i just need those two to have a complete collection and here she is i think i cut this out for vanna so i'm gonna do the same for her if it can get like if i can do that <laughs> i don't remember if these dolls are difficult to open but let's begin and see There's tape, a lot of tape. I might speed this up. Let's take a look at everything that we get. So first of all, you get this little thing, which is in the picture frame, I think. Um, but it's like referencing the photo that she gets, which is right here. Okay, so let's build the stand first. So her stand is pink and it looks like a paint palette. So that's super fun. Vanna's, Vanna's, I think I call her Vanna, but I can't remember. 
I don't know what her actual, how to pronounce it. Um, I think it's gold, but this one's pink and I love it because I feel like this is your like referencing Barbie just because everything she has is very pink. So then you build the stand, it's a stand, and then you move this up and down and it clicks. And I like that because they have like ridges. Um, let's put her on her stand, make sure that's the right height. Okay, come on, there we go. So here she is and let's take a look at all that she comes with. So we have the markers that look like paintbrushes. This one is black with pink and we'll test out to see if the markers work. We have a lighter pink one. So here it is. And then we have a purple. Very cutesy colors. Vanna's were green, red, and yellow, I think. And then we have her earrings that you can color. Um, last time, so Vanna had uh, paints. And last time I liked the markers better than the paints. Um, so here are her earrings. They're big, chunky, and you can paint them. We have a cute brush. I don't remember Vanna having a brush. Oh, yes, I do. I think she had like a... It wasn't a brush. It was something else. Anyways, and then we have the th stickers that you can decorate her eyes with. A little stamper, so this is like squishy here, and it's got a little paintbrush, or paintbrush, a spray, spray paint. Uh, I showed the photo a little bit, but here it is. And then we have stencils. You can really see some of those. Those are really cute. Um, I can't wait to see like what we're actually supposed to do. And then you have their little picture frame, so it says Lady T, and spray paint bottles down here with some cute designs. And you actually put the picture frame if I can do it in here and then right back here it clicks into place that always scares me so you can have your picture frame after you paint it and then we have this thing I think that's all oh a scrunchie which is a plastic like a very papery material and they have three little ties in it and you can see it made holes so I don't love that because they use a pretty cheap material like now it has holes in it um, and then we've got the paint palette. Uh, I guess I don't know what it is. It could be something different. <laughs> Might not be paint. Um, but a little palette. So it's black with some little silver glitter. And it says Lady T on it with some cute designs. Let's figure out how to open it. Oh. So it looks... Oh, okay, so be careful. It looks like this is the whatever. It's like ink pads. And then you would stamp this in it. And then you would use this to design i will check that out um because that's really cute um but be careful because this is this has paint on it uh or stamps i guess so it's a stamp i love that okay let's take a lit look oh my goodness let's take a look at lady t before we test out her art supplies and use them so one thing about these dolls is that you are supposed to be able to customize them and uh like draw on their outfits and stuff which i think is really fun vanna i left the only things i colored were her headpiece and her earrings um but if you were interested in coloring them obviously you can so vanna has purple eyes i love that she's got blonde hair with purple streaks and her hair is a bit of fox hair you can really see it in the back um it has a bit of a curl wave to it um like straight up here and then curly down there and it actually feels kind of nice like it's actually really nice um but kind of dry at the end so just keep that in mind and you really don't see that blonde it's only on the or that purple it's only on the sides and then the blonde is in the middle um but yes, she has little streaks. She has a pink headpiece, and then the part that you can color is here. It says Lady T. Um, she's got quite a bit of red blushing, and her eyes shadow is pretty plain, except for the fact that she has really heavy eyeliner. Um, really nice blushing. It's really pretty. Um, pink lips. She's got both her ears pierced so that you can place the earrings in and they go in pretty easily which is nice because not all dolls have that um or not <laughs> the other one went in super nice okay let's try that again okay so it's definitely this ear that's having trouble uh, this ear must be opened up a little bit more because that one went in nicely. Okay. Her earring designs are hearts with little drips on them, which I think is really cute. Um, it's like bleeding hearts. 
Um, she has a jacket on. Sorry, I was trying to move my thing down. It's a really cute jacket. She has layers underneath. She does. Okay, I want to open this up. It's got little ties. I'm sorry. So it's like sewn here. Sorry, I want to see her outfit. I can't. Help. I'm so scared. I'm going to cut the fabric. I have to. But I don't want that. Boom. Okay. So she has a really cute pink jacket on. It's that same fabric as this, um, but it's cute. I actually really like this for coats because I have a coat that's like this, um, kind of like made out of this material, like a rain coat thing. Anyways, um, and then there is pink soft uh, trim on the tops, bottoms, and then on the edge of the arm. She's got some more like a glittery fabric there. And then these are just plastic pieces, which is not my favorite. Um, to represent the pockets <laughs> it's kind of weird so then it looks like she has a cute shirt on so these are like little straps and I love that her shirt is white with black details um smiley face and then that drip look uh and then some straps here and that's also something that I would assume you can color and it feels like they the shirt stops here you can kind of see it through there so that's how long it is it's just a cute short sleeve and honestly I love how this shirt looks I'm kind of sad that they covered it up um anyways like how do I how do I get it to show without being weird yeah I don't know I'll have to work that out anyways she's got a plastic belt belt thing here I think it's moved it needs to be that earring fell out more on the edge so you can see it it's plastic chains but they're kind of like bendy so you know chains I would probably paint them I've been wanting to paint some of my doll accessories just to add details to some of them so that might be a project Anyways, she has on these pants. Again, they're kind of a weird material, but I think that's so that you can color them. Um, they're blue with white, but they're like not fully white. And they've got details. They say Lady T. They have other details on them. Her shoes are heels. They're pink with some pink fold on details. And I love that, that they actually added details to her shoes. They're black here. They've got quite a bit of detail and I love that. The shoes actually feel really nice. Um, putting back that earring in. Vanna's earrings always fell out, so that's something to, like, be aware of if you buy this doll to keep in mind that their earrings may fall out. Also, this is not staying shut, so once you open it, it kind of just wants to stay open, and that's the, whatever that's called, um, the stamp. I'm gonna put these ones on just because the middle ones because it, her art keeps referencing it um and another thing vanna's because I, i've had the doll for a while i'm gonna reference vanna a lot because this one i can't reference because i, I haven't had her for long um but just in case you're interested in buying these dolls these if you're buying it for these um be careful because they do not stay on that well like vanna's are always trying to pop off um, and they just don't want to stay super nicely. Like here, I'm having trouble placing them. Yeah, I just, I don't, I don't know. I think it's just because they're angled. Like you can already see that that's not staying on. Um, I'm kind of tempted to glue them on. Um, I know that, that might not be the greatest thing. Collectors might be like, ah, but they're my dolls. And I've been really tempted, like being a collector for a little bit of time um like there's always like a negativity of like gluing stuff because it's damaging the doll but like when the heels don't stay on my barbies i just want to glue them on their bodies and this is something like i love this concept and i love that it's super cute but they don't stay so i really want to just glue these on i'm really trying here uh Perfect. Stay. No. Stay. Vanna's definitely went on better than this. Give me a second. Maybe I just gotta hold it for a second. Yeah, hers definitely stayed on more. Like, they every once in a while will pop up. I'll go reference her because I think hers are still on. Sorry. Backing away from the camera. 
Oh, nope. <laughs> Bandas are completely off. She <laughs> See, this side's staying up, but this one's, I don't know where that earring, or that, uh, piece one I love how they look and I love the concept but they're just not executed well enough I think the stickers need to be stickier but maybe it's so that you can change them out but like lady t's are not see I pushed vanna's down and it's only the edges coming up um but lady t's won't even stay on so I don't know <laughs> sorry vanna you're out of here um and as you saw <laughs> she's only wearing one earring um earring here is bad I need to change the art I don't like how her earring looks but oops and it just fell so if you're buying it for the earrings or the eye stuff either be prepared to have to one go uh find a way to get the eye makeup to stick better or be willing to you know glue it on and then also find a way to get the earrings to stay better um I swear I have Vanna's earring somewhere, but I was looking around where she is, and I don't see it. Anyway, so here is Lady T, and I love this doll. I love her look so much. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Let's start with some of the art. So first of all, I want to test out the stamp. I don't know how it's going to work here. Um, oops, you can't see. Here, because it's like scrunched up, so this is a scrunchie, um, but we'll try it. I just... I didn't know. Okay, let's try the markers first. I'm not using it on a piece of white paper, so just keep that in mind that they the colors might look different. I'm using it on the cardboard. Actually, I just don't think that this will show up super well. I was gonna use it. Oh, so here's on the white side. Here's here. The colors are, just mind, this is like shiny. Um, The colors are always very vibrant. They were with Vanna and the markers hadn't dried out yet. Um, I don't think mine are dried out, but I haven't used them in a while. Um, but they're super pretty. So here's here. That one's very light there. Again, it's the light one. And again, it's it's not white paper. So keep that in mind. Anyways, and then that. P Oops, that's the purple. I go, that's the same color. Because it is the same color. Um, okay. And then... Oh, that pink was very vibrant. That's very pretty. Okay. Pretty. Uh, next, let's try out the stamps. Um, I'm going to try it on... The issue is, is that my tripod does not bend down, so I'm going to have to hold this up. So I do apologize. So first, let's take the color. I think I want this pink. Do you have to activate it? I didn't read instructions. I feel like I shouldn't have to activate it. Oh, I, I might have to read instructions. I hate reading. Okay, let's just try it here. <laughs> no. Okay, I'll be back to read instructions. Okay, so I did read the instructions and it says nothing about saturating the thing. So I think my stamper has dried out, um, but I added a little bit of water. So we're letting that sit. It's a tiny bit. So I hope that it works. The marker, the instructions has a little swatcher. So the light pink is actually a light purple. Like that's a misleading color. Um, so it has a little swatch. So that's super fun. Uh, when I get the others, I will use that next time uh, to show the colors. So here it is. I don't remember which color I used. I assume this one because that's like the only light color. Let's see if adding water helped. Maybe. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. Okay. So like the stamper definitely works like it's doing that. I think because I added water, it is acting up. <laughs> But it did say in the instructions, if you want a more crisper design for this, to use the markers. But then I feel like that defeats the whole point of the stamper. Because there, I just stamped it. Like, it's not, it is coming up, but it's not, I don't know, it's not super nice. Not my favorite, that's okay. I'm going to test to see if this works. So I just stamped it here just because like you have to hold it to flatten it and I didn't, you know. Um, 
and like it's not like look at that like it's barely anything and I think for like if the stencil doesn't really work with the stamper then there's not really a purpose for this stamper because like what am I using this for if it doesn't look nice like here I did a little bit of the drips you can kind of see them but like barely and maybe that's my fault for adding water okay it's not that bad it kind of works um just keep in mind that the stamper um if it's next to like other things like that could come through because like it was stamping a little bit of this so like it kind of works you can see the drips I just it's kind of difficult to do um but I did get it to work and I think the colors are slightly muted because of the water um but also it was dry like I wasn't picking up hardly any color um but yeah here's the stamper <laughs> fun um, I'm going to color her head pieces, just to add some color, and then we'll be back to see that. Um, but yeah, oh, I never showed the back of the brush. Here is the back of that brush. Um, I don't know. The stamper is just not my favorite, especially because, or the, the stencil, sorry, and the stamper. Um, but that's okay. She has a scrunchie. I don't think you're supposed to use it on her. I guess you could use it on you, but like, it doesn't look in much. I've got a lot more hair than that, um, but I'll be back. Let's watch me paint. As I'm coloring this with markers, I just want to say that if any time throughout this I mentioned art class instead of art squad, I do apologize. I said it so many times and I tried to fix it. <laughs> but yeah, so sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so here is the stuff. Uh, it was hard to paint like, or I said paint, but color like this. Um, but here they are. I like how they look. Um, oh, I was going to show this. So this was slightly hard to color. Get Getting in like the little crevices. It's also laid improperly. I don't know if you can see that, but it's supposed to be in there and it's not. Um, yeah, also the, just the little areas like getting in there. Um, you would never be able to get the stamp in there. Um, also, I would have liked it if, since the stickers don't work, that Van uh, Lady T had better um, eye makeup. Because, like, Vanna has gold and she, like, has hardly any. Um, but other than that, I love that these dolls are customizable. I love that they come with art. I feel like a lot of people who collect dolls or have dolls um, like to do art. I, when I was, like, buying Ever After High dolls when I was younger, um just to have I was crafting and like doing stuff so I would have loved these dolls as a kid because I was somebody who enjoyed crafting I haven't gone over articulation but they have movement at the head I, I don't think they have tilt I think they just move like this um arm elbow and wrist and then she can move at the leg and can bend at the knee um, I think these dolls are absolutely gorgeous. I love how they look. Um, they don't have nail polish. Um, I I love Vanna. I think she's so pretty. I didn't even look. The other one. No. Why did I say Vanna? I'm so sorry, Lady T. Vanna's sitting right next to me. I love Lady T. I love Art Squad. And I love Vanna. I think that these dolls are such a fun idea and concept and I wish that they did better because I would have loved to see more of things that they could do, especially with like the art because even though I didn't enjoy the stamper, I still really like the crafts that they do and being able to customize their looks and stuff. But yeah, I'm ActiPab. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts about Lady T. Um, let me know if you think that I did the stamper wrong. But yeah, I'm Actipad. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!